Greetings, Earthlings. I'm really excited about what we have here today because this is a whole new realm for the video channel. Um, I want to get heavily into 3D printing. I, I think the concept is so fantastic to be able to take little pieces, little strands of plastic and make whatever you want. All kinds of really cool, neat stuff. Whatever you need it, as you need it, on demand. That's so such a fantastic concept to me. So today, what we have is one of the cheaper, less, well, not necessarily cheap, but less expensive pre-assembled 3D printers out there. The DaVinci Junior 1.0 from XYZ Printing. This is just, I can't wait. I'm so happy. This is gonna be so much fun. So what do you say we crack this bad boy open and get started, huh? As I said, here we have the uh, DaVinci Junior 1.0 3D printer from XYZ Printing. This is one of the less expensive 3D printers out on the market right now. I think I got this one right about when I was getting it. It's between 350 and 250, 250 and 350, depending on where you get it and when. Um, easy enough to buy on Amazon, or uh, you can go right to their uh, site and then they'll lead you to all the places where you can get it. It's a fantastic printer. Let's open this sucker up and try it. I apologize because really the only place I have to do this is in my dirty workshop. So here it is in all its gloriousness. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, this is to be fun. I can't wait. Okay, on top here we have a standard A to B USB cable and some product warranty card. You might want to save that in case something goes wrong. So there's that. And then there's a sheet here with instructions on print history, instructions on before using the printer. Please first remove the fixed materials from the printing module and printing bed. Switching on the printer's power without removing these fixed materials may damage the machine, and I'm assuming void your warranty. You're supposed to connect a PC and a bunch of other stuff. Well, we'll look at this all later. Because today, not only am I going to unbox this, I'm going to set up and show you the first print from it. And then it comes with a little tray, and the tray has a spatula for getting off the uh, getting uh, the prints off the 3d off the print bed and well, I'll talk about later about why that's important uh, what I believe is a large piece of masking tape so that you can place your uh, actually several probably so that you can it'll actually stick to the bed because one of the drawbacks of this 3d printer is it doesn't have a heated bed so things like a it doesn't use ABS actually it only uses the PLA type material but um, it may need some uh, it has to be able to stick in order to adhere the first time so that when you do your 3D print, it doesn't lift off the bed and make a big giant mess. And there's a tube, and the tube is what, let's put this down, the tube, uh, this is a tube, and the tube is what the, uh, the print material, the uh, filament, runs through. We gotta save that, save that. And then, it also, they also give you a micro, uh, a micro SD card Ugh, in a little case. The nice thing about this printer too is that you can either hook it up to a PC and print right off the PC over USB, or you can just plug in, put your your um, your projects on this SD card, plug in the SD card, print from that. That's kind of neat. And from what I understand, there are some test prints on here that you can use when you first get it. And then there's a little brush and some little ring things. I'm not sure. Maybe that's for clearing. Uh, filament out of the out of the print head if you need to. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll check we'll check on that later. Put that there. And then the pH the resistance we have the big daddy itself. Let me put this on the floor so I can pull this sucker out. Oh, oh I'm sorry. There's also filament. Now this is one of the more the nice thing about when you buy this printer is they give you a spool full of filament. And their filament is very special. You can only use their own filament with this printer, and I'll explain why later. So there's the filament. There's a power brick. Important not only for powering the printer, but leveling it as well. Uh, power cord. 
a very short one. I'm gonna have to put a longer one on there, probably. It looks like it's just a standard PC, standard PC type cable, so it should be able to, I have a zillion of those laying around. Um, some more cardboard. And then you should be able to get your hands under this and pull this sucker out. Worked pretty well. And there she is. The DaVinci Pro, the Pro, it's not a Pro, the DaVinci Junior 1.0, although I would like a Pro. So DaVinci, if you're watching this later on, or XYZ uh, Printing, if you're watching this later on, I'd love to try out a Pro too. Pull this big old piece up. We're gonna save the packing material just in case we have to return it for some reason. But, and there's that. Let's get the box out of the way. And it's inside this plastic. Let's get the plastic off. It's just kind of sitting inside. A big old piece of plastic. It's nicely wrapped. It's I tend to be rough with these kind of things. I'm trying not to be this time. So we have to pull off all of this packing material, protecting all of the there's some tape on the side here and some tape on the side here. And they have the nice shiny surfaces all protected so it doesn't, they don't get ruined when you're transporting. And then the cool thing about it too is it's got this door, it just lifts up. And that's what she looks like on the inside. Let's remove all this. More tape. The nice thing about it is they have the tape set so that it's easy, relatively easy to remove. This is, okay, this is protecting, pull this out. This is protecting both the extruder, which is where the filament comes out, and the print bed which looks like it's glass. It's, it, the one thing about this printer too is it doesn't have a huge print volume. That's what makes it really good for a starting uh, aspiring 3D printer <laughs> person. So, and there's also some more stuff in here. There's some styrofoam. Get rid of that styrofoam. Uh, there's a little bit of cardboard holding the holding the bar up, the crossbar. I'm not sure exactly what all the terms are. See, I'm learning this right along with all of you. I'm learning how to do 3D printing, starting with a, with a nice one, and we'll see where we go from there. Untape this. And more styrofoam. Let's see, it looks like everything is out. Oh no, I'm sorry. Missed one. <laughs> Got that sucker out of there. We don't want to turn it on without having everything out. The bed traverses really nicely. And so, there we are. We have it unboxed. Let's try and get some stuff loaded in here and see where we can go from there. Okay, here we are. We're all set up. Let's uh, turn the power on and see what happens. Ooh, little LCD lights up. Initializing, please wait. Everything's kind of lining up. Oh, and the light comes on. That's kind of cool. It's got a light inside to light it up so it'll make it easy to take uh, time-lapse pictures, time-lapse video of the, uh, of the print as it's happening. Although I don't know if you can, it's got a little thing here. I don't know if you can I don't know if this has something to do with maybe shutting off the printing when the thing is open. I hope not, we'll have to find out. But um, from what I understand, what you wanna do, the first thing you wanna do is you have to home the axis. So you, got to go, you go down to utilities and you click okay. And then you go down to home axis and you click okay. Are you sure? Yes, okay. And what it'll do is it lines up everything all nice and neat and pretty. It's not fast though, <laughs> so 3D printers don't have to be fast. They generally have to just work. So we'll line this sucker up and see what it does. 
and right now I think it's calibrating actually. It doesn't have a fantastic calibration. You might still have to Yeah, it's off a little bit. I can see it's off just a smidge, so we'll have to fix the x-axis in a little while. But uh, right now we want to, the nice thing, we want to load the uh, load the tube that the filament's got to go through. It's the first thing you got to do. So the nice thing about this printer is you can shut it off then. You don't want to do this while it's on. You may want to unplug it too, which is what I'm going to do just to make sure it doesn't accidentally turn on by itself. But the nice thing about this printer is it may, they make it really easy to take the extruder off. Usually, sometimes these things are, oh, <laughs> let's bang the extruder around. That'll be good for it. Anyway, they make it easy to take the extruder off so that you can put do things that you have to. All you got to do is push it in. It's a, a pressure friction lock of, of a type. And then you just stick this bad boy back on here. It clicks right back in. Then, slide this out the top. Here, I'll close this to make it easier for you guys to see. Slide this out the top, and it slides right back in here. Right back in that little, oops, back in the little hole. Always had problems finding the little hole. <laughs> and then, if you look, it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually a, another one of those little friction holes right here. And this way the filament, while being inside, has a way to get out and over into the print head. It's not, it's not a bad little setup. I, I kind of wish this was hidden and wasn't actually out here, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> it works the way it works, right? Then what you have to do is take this giant piece of masking tape, I guess, and put it on the bed. What I'm going to do first though is I'm going to turn the sucker back on. Then I should be able to go to utilities. Okay. Go to jog mode. Okay. And then go y-axis, which is, no, no, I'm sorry, z-axis, which, okay. Okay, that's done. So what we next want to do is take this giant piece of masking tape, uh, because the print bed needs something to adhere to, because it's not a heated bed, so things will lift off if they don't have a way to adhere, and tape is a good way for things to adhere. So we'll uh, open this sucker up. And what I did was I used uh, the, the z-axis, uh, jog mode and I told it to go up by 10 millimeters so that I could pull the bed out and uh, do this evenly. And I guess I just have to rip the paper, rip this because it doesn't look like it. there's an easy way to open it up. So you get uh, three pieces. I would assume they wear out after a while because when you start using the putty knife to scratch things to get things off of this bed it's usually easier to just um, you know, mar this up. But from what I understand, it's a lot easier to just kind of grab it and kind of twist and pull whatever you have off. It's a little easier. But we'll put this on for sure. Um, and then, oh, <laughs> yeah, let's get it off of the dust. I'm sure that'll help. So we want to put this down in a corner. I'll show you guys once it's done. <laughs> okay, so there it is on. Make sure that if you buy this printer that you actually put it on the correct way because it's not a square, it's actually a rectangle. I put it on this way to take it off and put it back on this way. So it actually adhered pretty, it adhered, adhered back on there pretty well. So, oh, power went off. It, this has a three minute shut off for power. So I suppose that's a good thing if you're not actually printing. Hopefully it won't do that while we're printing. <laughs> but, uh, Let's take this and, oh, I put the extruder back on because I took it off from the, uh, in order to get the paper back on there. And that sucker's on there, and there we go. It's 
So the next thing we want to do is we can take the, uh, we'll shut this sucker off, or actually we'll turn it back on because we want to, we have to zero out the axes, axis, axes, 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 axes again. <laughs> I don't know. Axes. We want to zero out the axes again. So we go down here to utilities and okay. And then we go, we want to go to change spool and we want to load the filament. Oh, we have to actually load the filament before we do that. But actually what we can do, oh boy, click OK to cancel, go back to home, utilities again. Boy, I'm done. I'm, see, I'm learning like everybody else. We'll home the axes first. Are you sure? Yes. Fascinating, isn't it? Okay. Home axis is complete. Then we want to turn this off. Open up the. Oops! <laughs> I have a big knife here, and I'm not even using it. Um, there we go. Let's get that. So we'll take the filament. Take the filament out. Now, what I was going to tell you before is, you have to use XYZ Printing's Da Vinci Junior filament with this printer because this print this um, this filament comes with an RFID chip. Unfortunately, it's got um, RFID technology built into it, into the spool, and you, it, it's built right in here. And there's a reader in here. And if it's not in contact, if it's not real Da Vinci filament, it won't actually work. Unfortunately, I know some of the other Da Vinci printers have gotten around that in other ways, but so we'll. Uh, but we're not going to do that right now. Mostly because I don't want to avoid the warranty on this printer. We'll get rid of that little piece of filament there. Okay, so what you want to do then is you take the the printer head and you put this on there. Make sure that the that the filament is in the back going up. You just set that little sucker on there, and then you got to go down here. And there's a small little injector port to put the filament. And then you pull up on this little silver lever and you just stuff that. You stuff the end up there until it stops. And you can let go of the little lever. And then turn on the printer. We'll see if we did this right. Initializing. Also, at some point, you want to put the micro SD card in the slot on the top so that you can print from it. But okay, so we go down here to utilities. Okay, change spool, load filament. It's now detecting filament, so it's heating up the uh, extruder. Actually, I take it back. It's actually moving filament up into the tube as it's heating the extruder, because the extruder has to be up to temperature in order for it to work properly. And you can hear the fan come on. There's a fan right in the right in the extruder to cool that cool that hot end off. Get rid of that. It looks like this is just spring loaded. It's not actually preventing anything. So that's kind of nice because I want to do my time-lapse video with the top open so you guys can see it. 133C. I'm not sure how hot it has to get to, maybe 200. This is riveting. Hopefully it'll move the bed in place in order to test whether it gets some, oh, now the 
filament is moving into the extruder. I can see it's right about here, moving down the tube. Now we want to watch for it to come out in a steady stream. Once it starts coming out in a steady stream, we'll hit OK, and that'll tell it that it's done. Oops, it's just starting to come out. Hi. Come on. It's going to heat up the filament. Hmm. Well, this takes a long time. Check filament out from nozzle. Oh, it didn't actually work. So let's try it again. I guess this is one of the things you run into. Well, after all the fits and starts that we've had so far, <laughs> finally got the extruder to the hot end to actually start extracting uh, filament, which is a good thing. It means it's going to actually work. And I had to work on the Z-axis a little bit. I can show you how to do that later. But after all that, we're finally ready to do our first print. Let's get going. There we go. Let's take it off the print bed. And there it is. A little heart. Like a little pendant. And that is the first thing, well, to be completely honest, it's the second thing I actually printed. <laughs> I did it once just to try it to make sure it would work. But there we go. It took uh, 25, 30 minutes to print out. You guys saw the time lapse? Pretty cool. But there we are. It's the uh, Da Vinci Junior 1.0. The original one. There's a new one, the W version, but that's not this. That's a Wi-Fi version. To be honest, you really don't need it. You don't need to spend the extra money because with SD cards and USB connectivity, this one pretty much has it. But there you go, the Da Vinci Junior 1.0 from XYZ Printing. If you wanna get one of your own, there's a, there'll be a link up here in the corner where you can pick some up. Plus I'll have the links down below. It'll show you all the different places where you can pick it up. And if you guys wanna see more of these kind of things, make sure to like and uh, please subscribe to the channel. It'll, it'll helps, it helps a lot, it really does. And uh, please feel free to comment. I really, this is a new thing I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show people how to do different new things like drones and 3D printing and a bunch of other stuff that I want to try. So let me know how it is. It's the first try, so remember, it's kind of, don't be too rough on me, okay? And remember, stay frosty, my friends. Oh, hey, hope you liked the video you just watched. 
please subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. You can connect with me on social media. I'm at Chris K on Twitter. I'm also on Google Plus, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you like that video, you'll probably like this one and this one. Remember, stay frosty, my friends. <laughs>